is a public service announcement. Please stand by. Let me get you on the tripod, 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 that's funny actually. Hello, welcome. I've just been sitting here, I've been listening to a live stream. Someone's, a lot of people are doing like the Watts anniversary, um, Chris Watts case, you know, Shan, really we should be saying Shan Watts and um, her daughters and son. We shouldn't really be referencing Chris. I read a true, an article, I read a research paper about that, but you guys know I love my fucking research papers, which on my community tab, you guys haven't seen it, I put that screenshot up from the one paper that Rich Lux is in, and there's his picture right there, and then there's uh, here from the T's tweet on the top, like, I about like shit myself when I saw that, but I'm not a part of the uh, shit yourself community as Peter Mon would call it, so I didn't shit myself. So what's up with you guys? I've just been working on my picture. I know I haven't gotten a whole lot done with it because I've been having a lot of migraines and pain. The heat and the humidity is freaking killing my back, which my mom saw my neighbor and my neighbor, uh, her knee was all swollen and said oh no my mom's like what happened did you fall and she's like oh no i just just the weather chronic pain i have arthritis and i'm like oh it's arthritis that's see i'm not the only one dealing with arthritis from the weather right now or pain from the weather right now so it was kind of a nice confirmation you know sometimes when you have chronic pain and you get like pain from the weather or not feeling good to hear other chronic pain people say yeah I'm having a bad week too it kind of like confirms you're like oh I got this sorry I'm just noticing there's a glare in my glasses and that can be distracting for some people let me take these out so hello yeah yeah so I'm being more productive today I got in the shower got dressed I'm wearing my flower power shirt. I gotta work on some business stuff this weekend. It's Friday. It's Friday, as I call it. And I gotta work on some business stuff for, you know, Desert Mermaid with Patrick. But, ooh. So, I was... So, I, I as I was saying, I, I was wa listening to the Watts case. Speaking of true crime... So, I was remembering, and I gotta put my glasses back on for that, so sorry about the glare. So, um, you guys all know, I was an acquaintance of Jodi Arias. I had a friend in high, when I was in high school, um, well, okay, I grew up with, um, I have a friend I grew up with, and she was like a sister to me, and she's like a couple years older than me. So, when I was in high school, my friend, she would come and pick me up after school sometimes. And one of the places we would go is California Pizza Kitchen. Because she had a group, she was a little bit older, so she had a group of friends who were about, like, in their late teens, early 20s to 30, or 30s, right? And they all kind of hang out in the same, like, social circle. Down here in the Coachella Valley, um, especially back in, like, the early 2000s 2005 six seven it was kind of small and like you got into certain friend groups and those like everybody kind of knew of each other so i kind of got to hear about you know i kind of the way when my friend would like tote me around and stuff like you know because i was like her kid sister i kind of got to hear some of the gossip and stories and things from this like friend group because she would tell me well one of the places she would take me to was California Pizza Kitchen. And one of the reasons why we would go there was because Jody worked there. And in this friend circle, my friend had a, a crush on the guy Jody was dating. And I think she had a fling with him, but he ended up dating Jody. <laughs> Lucky him, right? And she dated a lot of guys in this friend group. This friend group, actually. And... Um, one of them actually, and I'm going to tell you this, so one of them, so my friend, you know, would take me and I'd tell her, you know, Jody's so pretty and stuff. And I, I knew 
and she told me, you know, Jody's a model, and she had even shown me Jody's MySpace. Now, back before she got, now, before she got with Travis, she was with this old man, and, and if you ever watch the Lifetime movie, they refer to this guy as the geezer. He was also the guy she picked up the gas cans from in Palm Desert on the way to murder Travis. So, um, so that guy, before she got with that guy, she was in this friend circle and she was dating a bunch of different dudes, right? Probably trying to go through them and seeing who she could lock down, right? Well, my friend told me, you know, like, oh yeah, she's pretty and all, but she's psycho. She was known as the hot but psycho girl. She was hot but fucking psycho. And I thought these stories were funny. Now, one of the stories, and this is the one I really remember about her, is that Jody was with a guy who worked at a tattoo shop and which was funny the tattoo shop was right across the way from an adult store and Jody my friend told me Jody would like to go into the adult store because my friend also worked there yeah and um so uh she would go over to the adult store and buy stuff and then take it over to the tattoo shop and like show it off like ooh, look what I bought aren't I like sexy cool girl yeah so she would take her toys in that she just bought and show them off to the guys like it was going to you know like make them interested or something or make her seem like she was a wild party girl or something I don't know so one of the guys she was with um she freaked out on him and so my friend told me that what Jody did was she when he was asleep she vandalized his truck and I forget what she I want to say they said it was saran wrapped but I do distinctly remember my friend telling me she took one of those adult toys that she bought across the way and glued it like attempted to I she said it didn't actually stick because it was so it was a it was big and black if you know what I mean which Honestly, I couldn't put it past Jody to have one of those. So yeah, it was big and black. And so she attempted to mount it to the front of his truck. And I thought that, I, of course, I'm like young. I, I think I was like 16, 17. Um, and so like, I think this shit is so funny. I thought these jo I thought this Jody story was funny. So Jody's in this friend circle, right? That my friend's a part of. Well, this friend circle for some reason thought it would be a good idea to make a movie about emo kids you guys remember that the emo trend emo emo okay we all know what that is okay you know it's like gothic but it's not right and anyway so they were gonna make a movie called how to be emo i'm not kidding right and so they were gonna film like a trailer to then take out to Hollywood and shop around. So they filmed this trailer and Jody was in it. Now it revolved around like a, the story, the main premise of the story was there was this high school football dude who falls in love with an emo girl. And then the football dudes kidnap the emo girl and the emo kids have to go and fight for her back or some shit like that. I don't know. It's called How to Be Emo, right? And so before Jody broke away from the friend group and went to be with the, the, the geezer, right? She was in this, was going to be in this movie and she was in the trailer. She was one of the cheerleaders and it showed all these different groups of people in the school. Kind of like, you know, how Mean Girls does. Well, she was a part of the cheerleading group. Well, as they were making all this and stuff, Jody decides, I'm better than all you bitches. I'm out. And this was around the time um, she got with the, the geezer. So she ended up dating him and... The last I had heard about Jody because I was always asking my friend about the psycho girl stories because that I thought it was so funny if anybody from high school I, I think I was a I was a senior in high school yeah so if anybody watching this from my high school if you remember me telling you stories about the hot psycho girl and the truck and the mounting that was Jody Arias 
I used to go to school and tell people about because I thought it was so funny. I thought it was something that you would see in a reality TV show. I thought that was so funny. Turned out she ended up murdering someone and became a famous killer on the internet. So, yeah. Jody was in this movie. Uh, not this movie, but in the trailer. And then when she decided to skip out of the friends group and stuff, they kind of, they had to take her out and they had to blur her out. So I have a picture where I have her and you can, you can tell it's her, but it's far away. You can also tell it's her by where she's sitting in the picture. We all know Jodi Arias, right? So when you see where she's, this, she's sitting at in this picture, You'll be like, oh yeah, that's totally, that's totally Jody. That's totally Jody. Ready for this? Of course, I blocked out the other people, but that's our girl Jody on top as a cheerleader. Oops. Sorry, that's my little thing. But yeah, that's Jody on top, guys. So you guys can say you saw a, a photo of Jody Arias that no one has ever seen before. Yeah. That was Jody back when her blonde hair was crappy, too. Yeah, my friend would make fun of it because, you know, she was jealous of Jody and my friend was like a hairdresser. So yeah. But yeah. That's Jody on top. Yeah, I, I blocked out the other people because, you know, it doesn't matter. We all know who Jody is and what she looks like. But yeah, that's the unseen picture of Jody Arias. Y'all can say you've seen an unseen picture of Jody Arias from a movie trailer she was going to be in called How to Be Emo, which you can still go find that movie trailer up on YouTube. Have fun. Scavenger hunt. Go, go find Jody in an obscure movie trailer called How to Be Nemo. It's the part where they go, hi, Billy. That's Jody, right there. That's our girl. Yeah, so it's Friday. We're hanging out. I'm getting on top of my pain. Yeah, that's totally me. Name dropping Air Jody Arias. I had someone like in the comments of another video go like, you go around name dropping Jodi Arias. And I go, yeah, because I knew her. I was acquaintance of her. It was kind of a part of my life story. And when I figured out that that was her in that trial, I couldn't fucking believe it. That was weird. And it's also weird to look back and there were red flags. And so, like, if I can add anything to, like, the stories that I tell about, like, even though it was just, I was just an acquaintance. I was just an acquaintance. I would just see her when she served me pizza at CPK. I still think that that one story is pretty significant. And the relationship patterns, you know, I at least, my friend witnessed and, and would describe to me, you know, it's... It's, I know it's third hand information, but it's still pretty, it, it, it's like, yeah, there were red flags. She was always crazy. It was leading up to this. It's sad that, you know, also too, when women, when women commit crimes and do stuff, we all giggle about it like it's funny. You know, I even giggle kind of too, like, oh, look at Jody on top, right? But it's also not funny because Travis is dead and honestly I feel like there were a lot of red flags but because as a society we're, we kind of give women a pass when they do crimes especially like this we think it's funny you know like oh look at this guy he he fucked around and found out Ooh, he should have put a ring on that or some shit like that or should have ran for the hills we laugh and make jokes like that but i i just wish like when when women committed crimes that it was taken a little more seriously you know and when women did shitty things like stalking behaviors Especially now where I'm at now in life after seeing what I have been been through and that's just a, 
that's not a significant part of my life experiences at all. That was just a one-off when I was in high school, you know? And then it's weird to be like, connecting the dots, I actually fucking was an acquaintance of that bitch, but it just... I don't know where I was going with this. It's just a weird world. Um, but yeah, um, if I really wanted to name drop, I would say I saw Bill Gates when I was out hiking sometime. But yeah, sorry, it cut off. I had to do the Peter Mon thing. But yeah, it just it's just weird and everything. So yeah, at least it's Friday. It's Friday. Um, we're hanging out. It's going to be the weekend. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can actually get out of the house tonight. I hope. Uh, I'd like to at least, like, shit, maybe Patrick wants to. I'd be happy going to the grocery store, guys. Like I said, because of my disability, like, I don't get out of the house very much, which is why I'm drawing my own world. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to drawing. And I'm probably going to fix my hair, because look at this. I washed my hair earlier, and the curls are kind of, like, not knowing what they want to do. Yeah, anyways. What was I saying? Yeah. Shit, I accidentally hit the thing and it started going. I'm like, shit. So yeah, we're not going out. I'm already in my jam pajamas and it's <laughs> gonna be eight o'clock. I am old. What I got, we got Chinese for dinner. So I got, here I'll show you. I got Darcy Bao. And I got cream cheese wontons. <laughs> Camera's like sliding because like I'm doing this one handed. I'm holding you up, but yeah. Cream cheese wontons. These are really good. So that's my dinner. Yeah, with a whole thing of pills. You know, that chronic pain life and all that. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna hang out and whatnot. I'm gonna work on my drawing some more. I almost got the windmills all done, so. Good morning, it's Saturday. Just wanted to end the vlog here. I know I didn't, oh, sorry, I'm vlogging. <laughs> My mom walked out. Um, yeah, awkward, but yeah. So I just wanted to end the vlog here because I got some of it edited already, but yeah. Last night I just kind of conked out. Typical, but I'm hoping that maybe later I can vlog because I still want to go out and I still want to vlog it, even if it's just driving around or something. So, until next time, I'm sending all my love to everybody, because we all need love, right? Except for Jodi Arias, because she's a, a crazy psycho bitch. And she ain't hot anymore now that she's been in prison for that long, right? Right? Let's see you in the next one, guys. This is TVM YG, transmitting from a facility located in the Coachella Valley. Transmission.